My name is Desiree Yagen, and what you're looking at is a email to the United States District Court, Northern District of New York, located in Syracuse. I sent an email requesting to listen to a telephone conference in a whistleblower case. It is Kevin Murphy versus Onondaga County. Sheriff Eugene Conway, District Attorney William Fitzpatrick at Al. It is case number 18 CV 01218. The conference, the status conference, was scheduled that morning at 9 a.m. I requested to listen to this telephonic hearing and this is what I said. Dear Court Administrator, slash court clerk of court my name is desiree yagen the conference is scheduled in a few hours it is now 4 a.m i respectfully request the court waive the three-hour notice requirements for reasons cited herein request to listen to the remote status conference that's scheduled monday Today, August 22nd, 2022, at 9 a.m. My request is based on new information in letter entered on the court docket on August 19th, that is on Friday. This letter has significant public interest. The subject is witness tampering affecting the integrity of the federal court proceeding. The plaintiff, Kevin Murphy, a 30-year veteran of the Onondaga County Sheriff's Department, retired in 2019, was targeted using DCJS, Division of Criminal Justice Services, by individuals familiar with DCJS procedure or were themselves in law enforcement. A report or correspondence was sent to DCJS stating Kevin Murphy had committed a crime. The importance of this cannot be overstated. It is witness tampering. It is to discredit Kevin Murphy as plaintiff and also as expert witness in Kelly Glover v. Onondaga County Sheriff's Department and a number of other civil rights lawsuits. My request was denied in an order that was entered not on Kevin Murphy v. Onondaga County Sheriff Eugene Conway and District Attorney William Fitzpatrick at L, but entered on Kelly Glover versus Onondaga County Sheriff's Department on docket on the docket. It was entered number 105. It was a tax order. And the reason for the denial of my request for permission to listen was Desiree Yagen, this is a quote, Desiree Yagen has published recordings with police and court personnel on her YouTube channel. First of all, there are no recordings with police. Second, these are legally obtained tape recordings. I repeat, they're legally obtained tape recordings. The recordings also include 341 creditors meeting held by trust, U.S. trustee, attorney Larry Walquest, under penalty of perjury, CEO Shaw Pryor is questioned about the bankruptcy filed in, I'm sure you've heard of it, Shopping Town Mall, New York, LLC. That is the tape recording provided by the U.S. trustee to Desiree Yagen, which I 
uploaded on YouTube, my YouTube channel. Shaw Pryor committed perjury. When asked about creditor Desiree Yagen, he stated, personal injury, like the others, slip and fall. That's perjury. My legs were broken on the property November 30th, 2017. I was hit by a vehicle. The DeWitt police refused to take my statement, then lied and filed a false report, which stated the motorist, Candelier Gonzalez, did not hit me, that I fell. That would be consistent with the perjury committed by Shaw Pryor at the 341 creditors meeting. The evidence is overwhelming and it's gone none, nowhere because it implicates the DeWitt police, the town of DeWitt, in cooperation with Shopping Town Mall, New York LLC owners, Steve Maskin and CEO Shaw Pryor, who committed perjury and engaged in crimes Okay, so that's what I, is on my YouTube channel. Legally obtained recordings, evidence of malfeasance, perjury, and tampering by Oneida County Clerk Sandra DiParno in violation of oath of office, refusal to provide me access and then lies committed by First Deputy Clerk Diane Abrams, who states in a handwritten letter that was scanned and sent that the records cannot be obtained. That's on my YouTube channel recently uh, published. Okay, so that's what's going on. This is First Amendment protected speech. My posts are penalized. That is extremely serious and that is why I'm posting this. Publishing is the word as Judge um, Baxter stated in his text order number 105 on entered on Kelly Glover v. on the Doggett County Sheriff's Department docket. On page two is the rest of my letter where I state clearly that I understand that pursuant to general orders of the United States Federal Court as well as the U.S. courts that recording, videotaping, audio taping, proceedings in the federal court are prohibited. I made that clear and unequivocal, and yet I was still denied. Okay, that's it for now. Kevin Murphy's license was terminated as a police officer that was a direct result of fraudulent report. This was discovered when he was working on a case needing certification to access law enforcement database. Murphy discovered that his license was terminated and subsequently the Department Criminal Justice Services investigated and found that it was fraudulent and reinstated Kevin Murphy. Jeffrey Perry, in his letter filed August 19th, Friday, stated that he is going to request subpoenas for DCJS records to determine the perpetrators in witness tampering and obstruction of justice. 
the source of my information is the attorney's letter to U.S. Magistrate Jeffrey Perry's attorney, Plaintiff's Counsel, filed Friday, August 19th, 2022, document 184, case number 18, CV 0128. Public interest in such circumstances is significant. Witness tampering is a federal crime. Witness tampering and Department of Criminal Justice Services is criminal. Once informed, I believe that federal judges have a duty to refer the matter to the FBI. I added in my letter requesting to listen to the telephone conference of Kevin Murphy versus Onondaga County Sheriff Eugene Conway and District Attorney William Fitzpatrick at L. I added, in addition, I request to listen to another hearing that is scheduled this week. A civil rights lawsuit, which Jeffrey Perry represents and Kevin Murphy is the expert witness. Request permission to listen to this conference, Plaintiff Kelly Glover. We captioned Glover v. Onondaga County Sheriff's Department at L, Northern District of New York, case number 518-CV-0837. The date of the hearing is 8-25-2022, time is 10 a.m. Lastly, I understand General Order number 63. I will comply with Local Rule 517, which prohibits recording of any court proceedings whether it's over the telephone or via Zoom, any recording in any form is prohibited without prior notification and approval from the presiding judge. I will contact the court at 8 a.m. to ensure email was received and for update. Thank you. Desiree Yakin.